Alright, how's it going guys? Today we're going to be talking about the autoclave. And I'm going to also talk a little bit about processing bauxite with it. Um, because this is one of, that is one of the main things the autoclave is used for. But this is the basic setup for the autoclave. It is a steam driven machine. So it will need a steam input. It is a um, quite slow machine, especially for bauxite. So I use a Invar or lead boiler with an Invar burning box to provide the steam. You can also use a heater if you want to have a little bit better control over the steam input. Um, but it does not have any power input other than the steam and that is the same for the multi-block version and the single block version except i've heard if you're playing gt6u that it does take power for the large autoclave but in gt6 that is definitely not a thing so the autoclave recipe is two stainless steel item casings three small stainless steel pipes, two small stainless steel gears, and a reinforced machine casing which needs quadruple pipes or quadruple plates and two long rods to create. Now, as I said, your main thing you'll be doing with this is breaking down bauxite, even though there are bunches of recipes as you can see here. Um, but you will need sodium hydroxide and your bauxite or potassium hydroxide will work as well. And it'll give you sodium aluminate, ilminate, and rutile, those at 50%. And as you can see, it'll need a pretty good amount of steam for the recipe and it out puts distilled water the actual recipe the actual inputs and outputs for the autoclave is going to be the top and left are your inputs for items with the left being the auto so if you want to put anything in through the top it will have to come in through a pipe or a hopper but anything coming in through the left can be pulled in automatically through a into from a chest the items out is the right and the back with the right being the auto so again if you put a chest on the right it will automatically output to it or a pipe as well you'll need a conveyor module if you want to pull out from the back the fluids in are through the bottom and the left the bottom being the auto which is for the steam mainly um, but you could pipe steam in through the left if you needed as you can see with this one our steam is coming in through the bottom and then the fluid output is the right or the back with the back being the auto so it'll automatically output into a pipe you would need a uh, pump to pull out through the right so the way we have it set up here our distilled water comes out through the back our bauxite comes in through this pipe and the aluminum aluminum sulfide or sodium aluminate comes out through that pipe which comes into our bath and I will explain this a little bit better in a separate video, or you can check out the one that we've already done on uh, Surviving GT6 Take 2, where we actually built it. But if you need a step-by-step uh, -step quick tutorial on how it works, I can do that in a separate video after this. Now, the other thing that you can use this autoclave for that is a nice newer feature is things like amber can be 
taken from the dust and put into any version of said gem. So you can even go up to a legendary amber. The um, more important one being that you can use it for jade. Jade being a fortune 3 material. You can do the exact same thing with it if I can ever find the thing. Uh, it will be easier here to just look up jade so if you are wanting to make a jade pickaxe you'll go you're going to need the jade gem so you can do that with one dust and some steam and then you will need a plate so you'll have to make a flawless which is two jade dust or a legendary if you want to go that route with his or exquisite which is four or even the legendary which is eight um, you can also use the autoclave for things like the um, quartz seeds or the fluex seeds from a2 can actually be grown in the autoclave um, i do believe this is much faster than if you grow them in a thing of water and uh, that's your main recipes for your autoclave. So I hope you guys enjoyed. There's your basic setup. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Have a great day.